On any autumn Saturday across the country, life on many college campuses stops for football American style. Nowhere more so than at Penn State, one of the country's biggest universities, where the school anthem includes this pledge, may no act of ours bring shame. But shame has now fallen on Penn State and its legendary football coach Joe Paterno, a virtual synonym for the university itself. Idolized for his record number of wins, his reputation of caring for players' classroom performance, and of running a program free of scandal, until now. Paterno is accused of failing to pass on to police an eyewitness report of a former assistant coach raping a young boy inside the team's shower room. That coach, one of Paterno's close colleagues, has been charged with 40 sexual assault counts over at least a decade. For Penn State, which showcases its ties to the outside community, the scandal has raised a troubling question. Did the university have too much to lose financially by acting on the sexual abuse complaints? As a prime football power, the team earned Penn State $50 million last year in pure profit, money that supported its other sports budgets, including Paterno's $1.1 million salary, making him Penn State's highest paid employee. But that's a routine pay package for winning American college coaches who ultimately owe their success to so-called student athletes who are awarded scholarships but are not allowed to accept money or gifts to play. Taylor Branch, author of a new book on collegiate sports, says the university didn't act on the abuse complaints for fear of the damage to its commercial brand. That brand and tending that brand um, cultivates power and money and uh, the university and the image. And anything that hurts that hurts Penn State. But the shock of this scandal may be alerting other universities to become more vigilant about suspected abuses in their own programs. If those meetings haven't gone on already or those phone calls haven't been made or those meetings haven't been set up on major campuses across this country, there's something wrong with your management and your leadership. Meanwhile, the federal government has stepped in to investigate if the university broke the law by failing to report the abuse complaints. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Washington.